future on that, if I wanted a nice shiny finish. Or another coat of polyurethane? <laughs> That's tricky, because some of those polyurethanes have plasticized you, and they'll cause the fabric to go slack and won't tighten up again. So you got to be very careful which polyurethane you use. Experiment first. Some that I know will work. Some that I know won't. Minwax, for example, would cause that fabric to go slack and stay slack. Trip, brand name called Trip, I don't even know it's available anymore, would cause the fabric. Of course, when it's wet, it'll go slack a little bit. But when the trip dries, it shrinks right back. So that product would be safe. But Minwax, I'd be very careful of. Can you Other products, test them first. Can you use uh, can you use the Minwax, for example, to prepare the silk? Yes. As a matter of fact, you can. Okay. Just don't use it as a final coat. All right. Um, the reason being that you're stretching the fabric out, expanding the fabric when it's moist and when you're putting on the first coat, so it's, it's pre-stretched. So uh, then, when you come, then you, when you dampen it again, it's expanding again and it will shrink back. But if you put it on as the final coat, uh, you'll have problems. All right. Why that is, I don't know. But trial and error has proved that that's to, that to be the case. All right. Where do you have that monocoat iron set? <laughs> it looks like about number two and a half. Just point it, point it at the camera. Two and a quarter. Point it at the camera here. Two and a quarter. All right. Two and a half at the most. All right. It's, it's pretty hot. It isn't full boat hot, but it's pretty hot. This is where we were at, so All right. this is the finished product, the objective being to produce the lightest tail I can possibly take, that's which that's also warp resistant, you know, light tail, warp resistant, perfectly, in my opinion, 
appropriate for something like the buzzard bombshell, where a light tail is really called for. All right. Now, can you uh, show us the difference between the top and bottom, where you've where you've recoated the bottom of the stabilizer? It looks a little more translucent. Yeah, this has uh, the bottom part has a coat of mm, pledge future on it. Makes it a little shinier and a little bit more translucent. And the top is still. The as top it, hasn't. The top I haven't coated with. That's the way it came the off future. the glass. That's the way it came off the glass. So it, it makes it a little bit more translucent, a little bit more of a shiny surface. The, well, I could, I could do one here. See, so you've got the, do a, I, I could do the, you've got the fin and the rudder there. Tiny bit here, so this will work for a pinch without being elaborate. And future's in acrylic, right? Yes, it's in acrylic. I can take a little future and doesn't add much weight. Add some, of course, but, but as you can see. A little bit more translucent, and it'll produce a bit of a shine. And it won't depend upon. And it won't cause the uh, silk to go slack. It will, uh, as soon as moisture hits the silk, it will, it will go a little slack. But the future, it will tighten right back up as soon as it dries. I haven't had any trouble in that regard with using future. Okay. So we get, I get a little bit of gloss to it. If you find that desirable, 